Since it is officially October 1st, Theo wanted to come on and say happy spooky season. He is not spooky at all. <laughs> Hey guys, what's going on? If you're new here, welcome. My name is Brittany Nicole and today we are doing a get ready with me in natural light. So if you haven't seen these videos that I do before, I like to do videos on the weekends specifically where I just get ready like I would with my friends and I don't care about all of the production so you're going to hear some noises in the background. I have a French Bulldog, George, who's sitting right here. I have a cat named Theo who's sitting right behind me now and then I have a cat named Stanley who's sitting right over there. They're all flat faced animals and they all make a lot of noise. I'm also just sitting in front of three large windows in my living room and that is the only light I'm using. So I like to do these videos sometimes when I test new products so you could see what they look like in natural light. I have cat hair on my face of course that's gonna happen all over this video but I like to do these videos so you guys can see what the makeup really looks like and we are testing some good things today I picked up all of the color pop well not all of it because I think there were some like blushes and stuff but I picked up the color pop pretty fresh foundation the prime and set kit and then I picked up Oh, this isn't from that line. This is a gel and pencil brow gel. I've never tried any of their brow products, which I'm really excited to do. So if you are interested in just hanging out with me on a Saturday morning or whatever day you're watching this, getting ready, super casual, go ahead and keep watching. All right, so I just wanna scoot in here so you guys can see what my skin looks like before we put any makeup on. Don't worry about my hair. I know it's a hot mess. I'm getting my hair done today, actually, so I just don't really care about hair right now, but my skin is not perfect. I have a lot of redness right here. I have some visible pores right here. My retinol has been helping with that a lot. And then I have a little bit of texture right here. So we'll see if this pretty fresh tinted moisturizer works. I've been seeing mixed reviews on this. Some people really do not like it and then some people do. So we'll see. I will say everyone I've seen on YouTube who has tried it looks very, very, very dewy by the end of it if they don't set it with a powder. I don't mind that. I used my retinol last night for the third time. I bumped in a week. I've been using it for like a month, but I finally bumped myself up to three times a week. And I do feel, I don't feel dry here, but I feel a little stiff. So I think this is the perfect time to try something like this. I also think it's kind of weird that they launched this like when it's fall, going to be winter time. Cause this to me seems more like a summer foundation, but I don't know what the deal behind that was. I'm hoping this color works. I picked up Light 6W for reference in the L'Oreal Freshwear. I am shade 420. It looks like it's gonna be a good match, but we'll see. So I also picked up their Pretty Fresh Prime and Set Kit. So I really wanted to try their sponge. I'm a sucker for affordable sponges. This does feel a little bit like the AOA sponge that I like, a little more stiff than that, but it's the same kind of texture. It is so tiny so when I wet this I hope this gets a lot bigger and then I have the hydrating hyaluronic well it's not doesn't say hydrating I just decided to throw that word in there I guess uh, it's the hyaluronic acid setting mist I think this is so pretty I love this tone some people it almost is like a lighter version of like Pepto-Bismol which isn't a good thought I shouldn't have even said that but some people don't like these like milky colors but I love it I think it's beautiful and then I picked up well it's all part of the kit the setting mist, the primer, and the little sponge all came in here, and this is the Pretty Fresh Hydrating Hyaluronic Acid Primer. So we'll see how those go. I'm going to start with the primer here. I'm going to just shake it up. I think these are pretty heavily scented with coconut, so I probably won't focus too much on the... Oh, wow. This is really thick. It's like a lotion, which I love. My, like, favorite primer is the... Too Faced RX stuff. I can't remember the name of it. You know what I'm talking about. Um, I love that stuff because it's more of a lotion-y feel and that's kind of what this feels like. I don't think this is super heavily scented. It's a little scented, but I don't smell coconuts or anything like that. I don't know. I mean, I have a very strong nose, but I don't know that this doesn't bother me at all. And it's very hydrating and that sunk in super fast so you'll see when I apply my primers I usually like to let my primer sit in for 10 15 minutes to do its job but we don't have that kind of time today because I need to get to my friend's house at 10 for my hair but um, 
my face gets really red right when I like touch it so applying primer really kind of makes it red but I like this a lot there's definitely a glow to this so if you have oily skin I don't know if you'll love this but this might become a favorite of mine I love how my skin looks right now even if you're not gonna put on foundation just having this on would be so pretty did you just hear Theo he makes that noise all the time yep yep <laughs> promise he's okay when he makes that noise it's just the noise he makes so I'm gonna go wet this sponge really quick and it wouldn't be a video if George didn't come say hi it's super early so he's still really tired and just wants to like cuddle and lay on my lap which he'll probably do in this video but I just wet the sponge and I think he thinks it's a toy that I'm gonna give to him okay so here's the wet sponge it got a little bit bigger not like huge by any means so I don't know we'll see it still feels the same it's a bit more stiff than like a beauty blender but I don't know we'll see I like the color that's for sure so like I said here's George you might see an ear pop up here but I picked up the color 6n right yeah light no light 6w when I saw the little swatch I thought this would work so I think I'm gonna apply this with my hands to get the most coverage and then I'll kind of stipple on top of it with the sponge just to make sure everything looks nice and blended um, I'm hoping this works because I'm going to wear this for the entire day. <laughs> I am getting my hair done though. I was thinking I would do like a wear test of some sort, but I'm getting my hair done and it's probably going to come off. So let me scoot in a little bit here for you guys. Um, I'm going to take my ring off too and let's just rub. Mm. being kind of judgy right now but I don't like how it's blending already I probably could have gone a shade darker I'm slapping myself in the face yeah this is very 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 light coverage I like the glow that it's giving me but I'm gonna put a pump on the back of my hand and just take the sponge and see if I can build up coverage where I want and then go ahead and like pat all over the face to make sure that's all looks blended yeah that that actually did build up coverage a little bit but you could see I have a little bit of redness you guys might not be able to see it on camera since I'm not in like the studio lighting but it's not covering everything it'd be a good you know like starter foundation for a little kid not a little kid, but you know, like a middle schooler or something like that who wants to kind of dabble in makeup, but you're not quite ready to let them go on like full coverage foundation type of thing. All right, so here's the thing. I don't love it, but I don't hate it. Would I take it like if I was on a vacation somewhere and I just needed like a tiny, tiny bit of product because I didn't want to wear full foundation? As I'm like saying that, I'm kind of thinking probably not. I would probably just put on my drunk elephant de bronzy stuff and be done I, I don't feel like I have a lot of coverage at all it's just the tiniest tiniest bit um, but I, I don't hate it like I'm not unhappy it's not sitting on my nose in a weird way or anything like that it looks super hydrating super glowy but I would probably just want to put on the primer if I was going to do anything so I'm going to go ahead and put on some concealer I am not going to be that person or that beauty person who puts this on and then takes a full coverage concealer and brings it all the way down and then blends it out all over their face so they can't see what the foundation looks like. No, 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 no. I put like two dots of concealer and that's it. So I love the Too Faced Born This Way concealer and I'm literally three dots going to just very lightly do that. I, I watch people here sometimes and, and to each their own I totally get that like everybody likes a different coverage and and people are used to different things but sometimes I'm like how are you even reviewing that product when you literally just put concealer everywhere so yeah I just I don't know I just like don't do that I don't know it, it confuses me it just takes away from really being able to truly review something as far as the sponge I think it's a little too stiff for me it's working well it's blending out I don't think it's absorbing too much product but it's a little too stiff I think I still do prefer my AOA paw paw sponge which is one dollar and fifty five cents yeah so when I take a mirror up close there's definite redness right here let me just let you guys see what I see here so dropping things this table is not big enough for me but 
I have definite redness still right here. I have an itch almost in my nose. I think there's a cat hair, but redness here for sure. There's still some discoloration there. There's redness on my nose, that's for sure. So really it's just a tinted moisturizer. I'm not unhappy with it though. I'm just gonna make sure those under eyes are nice and blended and I'm just gonna set it lightly with that Ilia powder. I'll list it down below. All right, and this isn't new. I'm just gonna take my Lawless powder and warm up the face a little bit. I'm sitting here like doing my makeup thinking about how it's all gonna come off when we do my hair so honestly I, I don't care too much about it today. <laughs> Alright and I'm gonna go in and blush now so I'm gonna just take my Catrice Amon palette and go so lightly in this thing because these are so pigmented it's crazy so I'm gonna take a little bit more of a loose brush this is that Wet n Wild Fire Ice Dragon Collection uh, brush. I don't know why I can never get the word blush and brush out. I always confuse them. They're so pretty and so stinking pigmented. It's crazy. I always have to go over it with my sponge because even when I go lightly, I go too heavy. <laughs> All right, and then for highlight, I'm just going to take my e.l.f. highlighting palette. I don't know what this inner glow. No, those are the names. I don't know what this is called, but this is from Target and it's $10 and it's beautiful. So I'm just going to go into this middle shade right here and just highlight a tiny bit since this is a very, very glowy tinted moisturizer. I don't want to go too heavy. You guys, this is so good. I want each and every one of you to go pick that up. You will be so impressed with that palette. Every time I use it, I'm like, dang, Elf, you guys did that. So good. All right, so you guys know me at this point. I like to go in with a little bit of a setting spray after I finish my base. That's just how I do it, and then I set again at the end. So taking that pretty fresh ColourPop Hyaluronic Acid Setting Mist, I'm going to prep it. Hmm, it's spinning at me a little bit. There's like one part where I feel like it's going a little heavy. Now this is definitely scented like coconut. It reminds me of like my Barbies when I was a little kid. There was like a scent to them and this is exactly what it smells like. The mister on that is very fine but something's up with mine. It's like you guys can maybe see it if I sit in close here. Right there it's like spitting at me heavily so that's a bummer because the mister is really nice but maybe that'll change over time yeah that smells so much like barbies weird all right so now i'm gonna go in and try this brow boss duo it's weird because the packaging is like exactly the same but it's not part of that collection i just wanted to try one of their brow products because i've heard such good things so let's give this a go I have the, I think this is just their standard brow pencil. I know a lot of people love that and I'm very excited for this brow gel. It is tinted, which is why I picked up taupe, um, if I can get it out of this thing. I normally go for a medium brown eyebrow product, but I just like almost had a mini panic attack because I thought I wasn't recording this entire thing. So okay we were recording but I never do taupe brow products but I want to try to do a lighter brow uh, you could see my brows aren't super dark but I don't know a Gigi does like a light brow usually and I really like how that looks so we're gonna give it a try brows look so much better when they're brushed up like this this is exactly why I always do a fluffy brow it definitely is not super it's weird I am like pressing very hard and there is not a lot of pigment coming out of that at all. That's interesting. It's a very stiff, stiff formula. See how this goes. It feels already off the bat a little too stiff for me. Maybe as I kind of use it, it'll warm up a little bit. But yeah, I guess it is warming up a little bit. But it feels pretty stiff to where it's kind of skipping on me, which I'm not used to. Okay, I like how the finished product looks. Like, that looks great. I really like the color, but this is so stiff. It's very, very difficult to work with, in my opinion. I need something a little more emollient than this. It doesn't have to be, like, super emollient. Like, I don't want something to be too emollient where I can't, like, you know, when you go with your brows, you're going in short strokes a lot, so it has to be 
emollient enough that you're getting color, but not too emollient where you're going to make visible mistakes. You know what I mean? And this takes a lot of effort to get any color out of it whatsoever. Have you guys tried this? Let me know below. I thought people loved this. Maybe it's just the color. I don't know. Maybe this would be a good one if you were new to playing with brows and like filling in your brows because you're not going to make those mistakes. All right, I am done with that. That took a little too long. I think this brow looks a lot better than this brow for some reason. I like, that's the wrong side. I could not get the pigment to build up here. So I'm hoping the brow gel helps with that a little bit, but we'll see. Um, I started to think about as I was doing this, I just started watching Mad Men on Netflix. I have like a whole list of things that you guys recommended as well. So I feel like I'm set for a long time. I really, really like how small this is. This is nice. I love a small spoolie for brows. I think they should all be small like this. And this is a good amount of pigment. It's not too much where again, if you apply too much, there's going to be mistakes. But anyway, I started watching Mad Men yesterday and I am hooked. I love it. I love it so much. So I think I'm only on like episode four, but I'm really excited to keep watching that. Have you guys seen it? Do you guys know how many seasons there are? I feel like there were a ton of Mad Men seasons. There's Theo again. <laughs> yeah, wow, it's really making them look, this brow specifically, looks so fluffy. And it's really kind of laying it flat. That's nice. All right, this is a win. Now I'm gonna fluff this one up so they match, but this is definitely a win. I think I would pass on the brow pencil though. If you are into like really fluffy brows like I am. All right, next up, bro lashes. <laughs> we just did brows. So I picked up the Maybelline Snapscara in the brown color. This is bold brown. So we're going to try that. We're going for the whole natural look today. If you guys have been watching me since I did my Gigi Hadid video, um, I love the pitch black Maybelline Snapscara. From the moment I opened the tube, I loved it, which is really, really rare for me. Usually I need my mascara to kind of like be open and let the oxygen hit it for a little while before I really love it. I kind of like it to dry out a little bit. I think it looks a little better, but this stuff looked good from the moment I opened it. Sorry, George is right here. I don't know what you are trying to do, sir. He's literally like sticking his nose in all of my makeup. But anyway, from the moment I tried the Snapscara, I absolutely loved it. So I'm hopeful I'll feel the same about this and brown is perfect for a look like this because it's very, very natural. I think I'm gonna highlight my inner corner really quick though. I think I might only do the top lashes because we are going to a pumpkin patch or something like that somewhere where I can get some freaking donuts because holy crap, I look for it. I don't eat donuts like rare, rarely ever unless like someone's like, hey, let's go to Stan's. That's a place in Chicago that's really good. But I probably eat like two or three donuts a year, but come fall, I love the apple cider and like pumpkin donuts. Mm, I have been waiting for them so we're gonna go to a pumpkin patch and I know she loves those as well so that's gonna be fun and it's gonna be well, 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 well. it's probably gonna be windy it's pretty cold here in Chicago the heat actually just went on so I don't want my lashes to transfer I don't know maybe I'll add a little bit I haven't had any transfer with this but it's a windy day today I like it. It looks really good. It looks nice and natural. It's separating. It's volumizing. This mascara is so good. Now it's not like Thrive Cosmetics mascara where your lashes are going to look like crazy, crazy long. But if you, you don't want to spend money on that or like order online, this stuff is so stinking good. Oops, I just got a little on my lid, but we'll fix that later. I love the brush head of this too. It's perfect. Like, look at that. Ah, so good. I posted, if you guys missed it, uh, I'll put it up here. I posted a Dear Halloween tutorial that's super easy. I was just inspired by a picture I saw at the drugstore and I recreated it with products I had already and I'm sure you have them as well. That only has 500 views and I know it's not Halloween yet and, and that's why and I posted it like 
a week and a half ago, but go check out that video. I was super proud that I came up with something that actually worked. I talk about it in that video. I've had such a struggle with trying to do makeup, uh, Halloween makeup tutorials on here for you guys because it's never as perfect as I want it to be and I'm a perfectionist so go check out that video it only has 500 views and I don't know why it's kind of strange but not that I get like a ton of views on all my videos but go check that video out if you're interested in a really really cute Halloween idea you could do it on you your kids anybody alright so all we've got left to do are these lips and I recently purchased these along with a Snapscara from CVS you guys if you are not on CVS's app if you have the CVS extra care card whatever you have got to get on there before you shop because you can add so many coupons like manufacturer coupons CVS coupons everything to your like card before you shop and holy crap you can get things so cheap like I think these LA girl uh, pencils were like $4.99 on CVS I got them for like a dollar fifty this uh, NYX London soft cream blah 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 was like six bucks I think I got it for like three the snap scara was like nine and I got it for three go check that out I swear I should be like an advertisement for CVS so anyway we're gonna go in with the LA girl this is a new color for me this is their bare lip pencil I love their lip pencils they're some of my favorite they're so pigmented ah uh, that is a really pretty nude color I don't usually do nudes like that I'm dropping things but that's really pretty. So now I'm going to go in with one of my old favorites. I've loved this for so many years. This is the NYX London Soft Matte Lip Cream. <laughs> Whoa, that was a creepy fucking laugh. Okay, before I show you the completed looks, Danny wanted to say hello and happy October. Stanley, I rescued or adopted from the anti-cruelty here in Chicago. And fun fact, his name was Spooky when I got him. But I renamed him Stanley and I call him Stanny, Stanny Monk, and he is my firstborn baby, and I love him. Right? Good boy. All right, you guys, and this is the completed look using all of the products today. I think it looks really pretty, really fresh, but if I had the choice knowing what all of this looked like and that it was going to turn out like this or wear no makeup, I would probably personally wear no makeup, but that's total personal preference. I just like touch my face a lot. I like to let my skin breathe. I would maybe pop on this primer though to have like a really glowy complexion. I think that would be so pretty. So of all these products, I think you guys would absolutely love the primer. It's not scented heavily at all and it's very, very pretty. It's like a lotion-y consistency. I think if you like a light coverage foundation or if you have a child who's kind of dabbling into makeup, you'd like the tinted moisturizer. The setting spray is really nice. Mine just spits at me and it's very heavily scented, so be forewarned about that. Don't recommend the brow pencil. I do like the gel. They did fall a little bit, but this isn't like one of those stiff formulas. Like the Cabrow is very stiff. This isn't stiff. Love the lip. Both of them, those are old favorites. Love the Snapscara. I don't think you need this sponge. I think that the AOA Paw Paw Sponge is something you guys would like a lot more. And I think that's it for new products today. So thank you for spending some time with me today. Stanley is starting to play with plastic, so I'm going to move that. Stanley loves to play with plastic. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because it is full of my animals. Stanley will grab like a bag of Lay's or a protein bar or something like that, anything that's plastic, and he'll take it and run with it. It's so funny. You guys have to follow me. I'll leave my handle right here so you guys can see more of my animals. Otherwise, if you're interested in seeing any more videos from me, please subscribe. It means the absolute world to me, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.